Setting up your Trekker 10-3 couldn't be easier. You'll notice that when you get your tent and you pull it out of the bag, it's going to come with the tent here, which we have laid out, and with all the guy lines attached. Inside the bag, you'll also find nine stakes. And inside the stake bag, there are two extra rubber tips for your trekking poles. Um, to set up your tent, all you have to do is lay it out on a flat surface and stake down the four corners, which I'll do now. Next, if you ordered our tent with trekking poles, it'll come with two River Country Products trekking poles and an extension. You're going to want to take apart the trekking poles and put them together using this extension, allowing you to set up our tent to its full height of about seven feet. Um, to do this, you first want you need to remove the handles from the trekking pole like so and then you insert it into the extension piece. If needed, you can adjust this dial here to tighten or loosen, and then use the clasp on the other side to clasp it so it does not slide. And we'll do the same thing with the second trekking pole. Now that this has been put together, you want to extend one side of the trekking pole so that you, the stop line is visible on both pieces. Overextending the pole can cause damage to the trekking poles. Okay. Before you go and put the pole inside your tent, make sure to put on the rubber tips because the sharp end of the trekking pole will rip your fabric. Perfect. Now you're ready to put the trekking pole inside the tent. Once you have the pole centered inside the tent, you're going to want to extend it until the tarp is pulled tight. Awesome, your tent is almost set up. All that's left to do is to stake out the, four, the three guy lines and the vestibule. So to finish the setup, we're going to close the door and stake up the vestibule. There you have it, you've just set up your first Trekker 10-3.